Yo, no, welcome back. Today we're talking chain link, chain link gates. What is chain link? Well, it's pretty straightforward. It's a wire that's linked together. I don't know why it's called chain link, but I guess they're chained together in a chain. And uh, this is a really basic demo of what a chain link system actually looks like. So the first thing you've got is this 50 NB post nominal bore that's the inside diameter NB I don't know why they say that just to confuse people but it's a bit it's a bit wider than 50 yeah it's 62 or something like that someone will probably correct me um, and these are the, the corner posts and then attached to a corner post we have what's called a stay post this is bent at the top comes down and it's also bent again on a 45 degree angle down and that's concreted in and what that does is that holds the tension of the fence and we use what's called wire strainers inline or end wire strainers these things here get a little special little tool in there that tightens them up and that's put through the post uh, with a hole and then all of these intermediate posts uh, 40 NB posts, you can see they're a little bit narrower these posts but they have been drilled three times, once at the top you can see there, once in the middle and also at the bottom and what that does is that holds the wire together and the wire is held on with these stainless steel um, little staples, these are the little hog staples and they're put every four every four chain link and at the top it's every every four as well you can see oh shining into the sun and uh, we also have these things called cable ties or wire ties for tying things um, like the corners together that's what that is and there's a special little tool we normally just cut that little loop off so that's what chain link looks like uh, it's fairly I guess it's the inexpensive option when it comes to security fencing you can also get it with three barbed wire on the top. This one here is actually a two meter high chain link. And it uh, looks pretty good. Three meter post spacing. Three meters set out. So you can do quite wide post spacing with this design. Um, the hard thing is just getting it really tight. Getting this wire really, really tight. And one of the things you got to look out for is when you tighten up these uh, strainers, it doesn't pull the post over on a funny angle. So these corners you can sort of set them a little bit uh, on an angle so that when you tighten it up they stay level um, also we've got like a top rail on this section um, top rails need to be used where uh, you're either doing a short run or you're coming around the corner and you need to put a, um, a top rail in place that just ties the whole thing together um, then on this side we have uh, what's called a gate post these are very thick these are 150 NB posts and caps uh, you need these heavy-duty um, strap gudgeons or what these are called and you can see there's a allowance of 75 millimeters uh, for this hinge setup uh, the one thing with these hinges is you can't adjust them in and out you can only go up and down so you can actually change the gate pitch by hammering these around so that they're in line but when you install them you want to have two gudgeons up and one gudgeon down this one here is the lock gudgeon locks the whole gate so um, criminals can't come along and just lift the whole entire gate off the hinges so you want that um, but this particular double gate has a heavy duty uh, 40 NB frame it's welded together, it's been bent at the top. It also has these super duper, uh, I think they're, they, look like, they look like 20 mil, but they could be 22 mil. Um, and that's bent over with a thread cutter. And then you want to have like a hole for um, putting your padlock through. And that's how um, that ties together. So yeah, that's what the um, gates actually look like you can see they can come in single swing double and um, they can also come uh, as a automatic gate 
the automatic gates have a big bar that goes through the middle. So yeah, I hope that's uh, for those of you interested in Chainlink. Sorry about the sun shining on the camera, but um, that gives you a little overview of what the system is and uh, gives you an idea if you're thinking of getting Chainlink, uh, what you can uh, expect um, when you um, get your Chainlink fence. The boys are just over here installing an automatic gate. And you can see the automatic gate has a 100 by 50 centre rail and the motors get mounted on the centre. Um, that's what the chain that looks, looks like. Um, if we have a look over here, you can see how we'll put a top rail going down through this section. Uh, top rails are really important when you're coming around a bend like that because you can't actually tension a wire on top because if you, when you tension it it will push the post over towards the inside of the curve. So um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Cool, if you're interested in chain link, um, want to know more about uh, fencing gates, automation, chain link, security fencing, uh, you can visit us at strongfencing.co.nz. Hit us up, catch you later, bye.